Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. CLEP. It's Friday, it's the 2nd of July. We have a few mods. We have three updates today. We have got the Polish Brick Buildings by Bar T. We have got the Pack of Polish Buildings by Daniel X321 and Consti. TV and we've got the seller by Pysel 360, Prezemic 23433 and Bartson V3. Lots of threes in and amongst all of that. Um, but for the mods for today we've got four again, I think. Yeah. So in front of me we've got the Modern Farm Pack. This is by Leo Leo. 7.4 megabytes download. 16 slots on console for the house which is a sleep trigger. You'll find it under farmhouses, and it's a modern farmhouse. You can't go inside the building. The actual trigger is across the front just here. But this comes with, it's called a pack. It comes with a set of, well, we've got fence post. You might be able to see there's a little gap there. We've got fence post. We've got fence with post. We've got a gate. And then across the back, we've got fence without post either side. So I've tried to put together nice and chunky look. It makes it easier. It's still not... Easy, easy, but easier. As you can see, there's supposed to be these little wire bits here between. So this set went together no problem at all. That one, I went a little bit too far in. I lost them. It kind of sunk in a little bit. And the gate. Now that's interesting because I placed that gate, then I put the gate, the, the gate, that post, and the gate right up next to it. So I put that, and I thought it was going to slide sideways. So I put this fence post, I tried to put it right in front. Let me close that again. I tried to put it here, in front of this post here, so the fence could continue. It wouldn't let me place it there. So you may have a couple of placement issues around the gate. But other than that, yeah, it's nice. Nice solid construction, and like I say, it does make life a little bit easier. These you will find under placeables and miscellaneous. We are looking initially at two slots, one slot, one slot, two slots which all drop down to one for any subsequent one 20 for the post a thousand for the gate 80 for the fence without post and 100 for the fence with post all by leo constructions so that's the modern farm pack by leo leo we do have a i think the lights are automatic i haven't found a light switch nice little patio area around the back here with our barbecue hose reel that kind of thing uh oh what was the price of this I'm going to have to check. I wasn't going to go and show, but I forgot to write it down. 100,000. There we go. 100 grand. Slot count going down from 16 to 1. If you're a multiplayer, you may be able to place more than one. Moving on from there, we've got two plows today. We've got the Lizard PP4. <laughs> that made me laugh when I saw that. Funny story. You probably don't want to hear it anyway. My nephew, um, because it's Silly P, Mr. Silly P. He calls me, has called me for ages, Uncle Pee Pee, just as a, just as a joke. As like, so every time it's anything with Pee Pee, just... So that's the Lizard Pee Pee 4. You didn't need to know that. That's by Listy U. It's 1.23 megabytes download, seven slots on console. And then next to it, we've got the Dog Plow, which Farm Dog's very happy about, by KZ Modding. That's 4.27 megabytes and four slots on console. This comes in three sizes, which we'll have a look at in the store in a moment. Uh, that's a 1.5 metre. This will come in a 1.5, a 2 and a 2.5 metre. I'm showing them both together because ploughs are ploughs. We know kind of what they do. I will always check them because sometimes they don't work as you think. Or, you know, a plough cultivates, a cultivator ploughs, subsoilers do whatever they like, you know, that kind of thing. So it's always worth checking. So we'll have a look in the store first because I think they're right next to each other. So the PP4, and that's the interesting bit, the PP4 is 1,180 for a 1 1.5 metre plough. That, we can change the main colour to anything on that pallet. 1,180. The dog plough, that one requires, what horsepower? That doesn't say. That one says it requires 55. So the dog plough for the 1.5 metre is already 12 grand. So you've got a big difference in price for the same width. But with this one, the KZ modding one, we can change the main colour or design colour, sorry, and the main colour which is the chassis section to there we go and we can have it a 4 plough 1.5 metre, 5 plough at 2 metre or a 6 plough 
at 2.5 meter. Those are the options. There's no reason why it won't work as it should. Drop it down. And it ploughs to 1.5 meters. It will create fields on PlayStation. Whichever your option is on your help window, L1 and triangle, drop it down. We can create fields. Drop that off. And the other one should do exactly the same. Instead of 1.5 meters, we should be at 2.5 meters for this one because that would be the largest one. Doesn't hurt to be thorough. There we go. Same thing again. Now on a triangle, drop it down. We can create fields. That's good to know. So, that's the two ploughs. Better turn that off. That's the two ploughs. The PP4 by Listy U and the dog plough by KZ Modding, which brings us on to the last of the mods for today. It's kind of a triple in this one, as we're about to find out. And it's this over here. This is the Case IH Attraction King series by Farm Centro Soul. And when I first looked on the mod tab, I was thinking, okay, but when I went on the mod tab, it was then well, there's only one. But interestingly, when you do get them and you get the different horsepowers, the configuration changes quite dramatically. That's the smaller of them all. That's the 4490. That's 210 horsepower. We've then got the 2470 which is, I think, only 212. It's only two horsepower more. But this whole configuration changes. And we've got a more kind of, what I think is more sort of a stub, snub nose, got a lot of stubby front to it. And then we move up to the 300 horsepower, which is the 2870, with this extra section on the top here as well. There's a few tyre configuration options on these as well. That one is, is an LSW of sorts. I mean, it's an LSW. But we'll go through all the different options. It's a nice looking tractor. From inside as well, it has a bit of a big bud feel to it. I know it's they're smaller tractors, but the price as well is mind-boggling on these. It's 17.09 megabytes to download. I've always said it's Farm Centro, so 13 slots for the first one, which isn't too bad. So the fact you can go up to a 300 horsepower, I'm pretty sure for the 300 horsepower, it's only something like 80 or 85 grand, something like that. Not too bad at all. Nicely detailed around the back end, around the three-point links and stuff as well, on each of these. So yeah, very nice. You'll find them under vehicles and large tractors. So, 70 grand for the base model, which is 210 horsepower, as I already said. Uh, rim colour, we can do anything on that palette. The next one over is silver metallic, and then I think we go pretty much back to the standard palette we have available normally, so I'll go with silver. We've got configuration standard all with weight. If it's a 1,000 kilogram weight underneath the nose. Hang on. That's the option for that. Then we've got the option of Trelleborg or Lizard. Those are the two tyre choices, options. Under Trelleborg, we've got wides, double wides, and back to wides again. Uh, under Lizard, we've got single. Now... Apologize, I'll apologise now if I get back around to these singles and don't realise, because there are quite a few to choose from. We've got single, jewels, singles, which are a bit larger, obviously, with jewels. We've then got worn, older wheels, with jewels. We've then got rice tyres, with jewels, the LSWs. Then we got to a much larger single, with jewels. And I think, was that where we started? I think it might be. That might be where we started. So a few different tyre configuration options there. We've got beacon no, left, right or both. Then we come to the engines and this is where the tractor changes. So that's the standard configuration, the 4490, 210 horsepower. The 2470, so as you can see, from that to that becomes a lot more stubby. We've got all the... Um, uh, exhaust intake system and stuff with the filter and stuff all on the outside changes a little bit and then we go from 212 horsepower to the 300 horsepower the 2870 which goes back out to the longer nose and adds the, the top section on larger engine that kind of thing and I think the exhaust changes as well doesn't it yeah the exhaust position changes too 
from both of the other versions on this side. So quite a few different changes in the three different horsepower sizes, which in essence kind of gives you is three individual tractors. I mean, they're three different tractors, really. Um, doesn't really matter which one we're going, but let's hop in. Start up. Horn. Beacons. Went for the double beacons on this one, the LSWs. 210 horsepower. Now, as far as steering goes, we do have the option of all wheel steer, front wheel steer, rear wheel steer, crab steer left, crab steer right, back to all wheel steer. Nice tight turning circle, turn the beacons off, lights. Pretty good lighting. For some reason, out of the three, I know that's 300 horsepower, and like I say, oh, I didn't show the price, did I? Let's just jump back in there. I mean, the eagle eyed among you probably already noticed. I just didn't mention it. Uh, if we go down to the 2870, which is 300 horsepower, yeah, 85 grand. Now, obviously, we had beacon lights on. And then we change the tyre choices. The price is going to go up a bit more. But you can get a 300 horsepower tractor there for 85 grand. Brilliant. Interior. That's what I mean about being kind of a little bit of a big bud feel to it. I think because you sit back from the screen, the windscreen a little bit. There's quite chunky, blocky door pillars and that kind of thing. But, very nice set of tractors. Cool. And that one I've gone for the weight underneath the front nose as well, but the other two I didn't. And that's it. For today, that's it for another week. For more. Well, I say that, unless they drop any mods on Sunday again, which you know, they did last week, so who knows? Um, I hope you have a lovely weekend. For those of you, our American cousins out there, if you are celebrating on Sunday your independence from us pesky Brits, have a lovely 4th of July, Independence Day celebrations. Stay safe. Have a lovely time. For everyone else, whatever you're doing, have a lovely time too. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest, whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.